Hey there fellow gearheads, David Garn here at Garn's Garage. My buddy Lance texted me this code, so I figured I would just do a video and try to explain it the best I can. So you have a pesky check engine light glaring at you from your dashboard. That little light could be a, could be a whole bunch of things, and one of them is the dreaded P0138 code. Now don't you go panicking just yet. P0138 is a diagnostic trouble code, DTC. It means your car's computer detected a problem with your oxygen sensor. Specifically, the sensor on bank one, sensor two, is sending a signal that's too high. Time to investigate and fix that sensor. Let's talk about these oxygen sensors for a minute, shall we? They're like the unsung heroes of your engine, working tirelessly behind the scenes to keep things running smoothly. You see, your engine needs the perfect mix of air and fuel to run efficiently. Too much fuel and you're wasting gas and polluting the environment. Too little fuel and your engine can misfire or even get damaged. That's where our little oxygen sensors come in. They constantly monitor the oxygen content in the exhaust gases. The upstream sensor located before the catalytic converter tells the car's computer how much oxygen is in the exhaust. This information helps the computer adjust the air fuel mixture to keep things running smoothly. The downstream sensor, the one we're interested in with code P0138, has a slightly different job. It measures the oxygen content after the catalytic converter. This tells us how well the catalytic converter is doing its job of converting harmful pollutants into less harmful substances. So we know that code P0138 means there's a problem with the downstream oxygen sensor, specifically that it's sending a high voltage signal. But what could be causing this? Well, the most common culprit is a faulty oxygen sensor. These sensors live a tough life, exposed to extreme heat and corrosive gases. Over time, they can wear out and start sending inaccurate signals. If your sensor is old or damaged, it might be time for a replacement. But hold your horses. Before you go ripping out parts, there are other possibilities to consider. A rich fuel mixture, meaning too much fuel and not enough air, can also trigger a P0138 code. This can be caused by a faulty fuel injector, a bad mass airflow sensor, a clogged air filter, or even a bad fuel pressure regulator. And let's not forget about the wiring. Just like any electrical component, oxygen sensors rely on a network of wires and connectors to do their job. If there's a short circuit, a loose connection, or damaged wiring, it can mess with the sensor's signal and throw that pesky P0138 code your way. Symptoms of a P0138 code now, you might be wondering, how do I know if I have a P0138 problem? Well, besides that obvious check engine light staring you down, there are a few other telltale signs. One of the most common symptoms is decreased fuel economy. Remember how we talked about the oxygen sensor helping to regulate the air fuel mixture? Well, if it's not working properly, your engine might be running rich, meaning it's burning more fuel than it needs to. And trust me, your wallet won't be happy about that. Another thing you might notice is rough idling or even stalling. When your engine isn't getting the right air fuel mixture, it can cause it to run rough, especially at idle. In some cases, it can even cause your engine to stall out completely. And if that's not enough, a P0138 code can also lead to increased emissions. Remember how the downstream oxygen sensor monitors the catalytic converter? Well, if the sensor isn't working properly, the catalytic converter might not be doing its job of cleaning up those harmful exhaust gases and that's bad news for the environment. Detective work diagnosing the P0138 code. Alright so you've got the P0138 code staring you in the face. What's the next step? Well it's time to put on your detective hat and do some investigating. The first thing you'll need is a trusty OBD2 scanner. This handy little device plugs into your car's diagnostic port and allows you to read the trouble codes stored in the car's computer. I'll put a link in the description of the one I like. Once you've got the P0138 code confirmed, it's time to start checking things out. A good place to start is with the oxygen sensor itself. 
you can use a multimeter to check the sensor's resistance and voltage, an old school Haynes or Chilton repair manual for your specific vehicle will have the correct specifications. I use Mitchell One and All Data for all my repairs and shop management software. If the sensor's readings are out of whack, it's a good indication that it needs to be replaced. But don't stop there. Remember, there could be other factors at play. Check the wiring harness for any damage, loose connections, or corrosion. Inspect the air filter and replace it if it's dirty. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you can check the fuel pressure to make sure it's within spec. Getting your hands dirty, fixing the P0138 issue. Now for the moment of truth, fixing the P0138 issue. The good news is that once you've identified the root cause, the fix is usually pretty straightforward. If the oxygen sensor is the culprit, replacing it is a relatively simple job. You'll need a ratchet, a wrench, or an oxygen sensor socket. I'll put a link in the description of the ones I use. Again, a repair manual will be your best friend here, providing step-by-step -step instructions for your specific vehicle. If the problem lies with the wiring, you'll need to repair or replace the affected wires or connectors. This might involve splicing wires using butt connectors or even replacing entire sections of the wiring harness. And if a rich fuel mixture is to blame, you'll need to address the underlying issue. This might involve replacing a faulty fuel injector, cleaning a clogged air filter, or even replacing the fuel pressure regulator. Prevention is key keeping your car healthy. Nobody likes dealing with car problems, especially when they lead to that dreaded check engine light. So the best way to deal with a P0138 code is to prevent it from happening in the first place. Regular maintenance is key. Make sure you're keeping up with your car's scheduled maintenance, including oil changes, air filter replacements, and spark plug replacements. A well-maintained engine is less likely to run rich and trigger oxygen sensor codes. And speaking of oxygen sensors, they're not designed to last forever. Most manufacturers recommend replacing them every 60,000 to 90,000 miles. It's a small price to pay for peace of mind and optimal engine performance, right? So there you have it. You're now armed with the knowledge to tackle that P0138 code head on. Remember, a little automotive know-how can go a long way in saving you time, money, and a whole lot of frustration. And as always, if you're not comfortable working on your own car, don't hesitate to take it to a trusted mechanic. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to Garn's Garage for more auto repair tips. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Got a question? Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.